Young Change Agents is a not-for-profit social enterprise empowering young people to identify problems in their community, reframe these as opportunities, and develop solutions. During the coronavirus pandemic, we developed an online challenge encouraging young people to explore some of the problems that have been caused by the coronavirus. One of the biggest problems teachers are having is keeping their students engaged with online lessons. The problem that I found is that people were getting too bored at home, so they would go out in like groups of five and stuff. People can't interact like they usually do, with hugs, fist pumps, handshakes and so forth. One of the biggest problems that COVID-19 has caused is that our supply chain has been hugely disrupted. Safety issues also arise in the indoor environments, where there is an adequate ventilation for viruses to disperse. Many people currently do not have access to thermometers due to shops running out and shops closing. We then empowered young people to use design thinking processes to develop solutions to the problems that they've identified. The app we are designing is called Helper. It is for people 65 plus to help them with technical support to be able to set up video calling and chatting services. To prevent the spread, my solution is to set up a Facebook competition that teaches local people. Watch an animated video, answer some questions, win life-changing prizes. This app will allow you to take a photo of your fridge or pantry and food recognition software will detect the food that is left over. And the app will come up with meal plans and meal ideas for you to make only using the ingredients it detects. This platform, Class Club, will have many features to engage students. They will be able to create their own avatar which they use to navigate around the virtual school map. The game involves meeting your friends and using a hardware solution. You can feel the sensation of touch including hugs, handshakes, fist pumps and kisses. There are many gyms that had to close due to COVID-19. Why not use those gyms as shelters for the homeless? Participants then took their ideas and built some very impressive prototypes and MVPs. Lately you might have become more aware that things are changing everywhere. Every day we're stuck inside. We can't go to the playground or slide down the sides. This is the teacher experience of my class buddy. They can set assignments and add classes in this app. So we can start the app and then we can go to set assignments. Love being creative, but you hate to have to do work. Well, this is how to get into the mood for writing a new song. The top solutions were given feedback, mentoring and an array of other rewards from our partners and local social enterprises. We then amplified the voices of these young people sharing their ideas with the general public through our website and social media channels and the news. We had an amazing panel of judges who reviewed the top ideas and selected our winners. They were incredibly impressed with all of the submissions and have some great messages for participants. Also know that your ideas were so good that they could have been in my day job. So just first and foremost, know that you're all superstars. People started to make some really great prototypes. So people thought deeply and then they started to put that into action, into products that were actually feasible and that could actually work and be implemented. Um, and that was really, really exciting to see. I was just blown away by how innovative, diverse and creative all of your ideas were. We need to involve more people like you in decision making in this country. So many great ideas. It's so exciting to, to see these great ideas. And, 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 and like you said, some of the use of technology and, and uh, so many of these can, can be scaled. You've used your hustling skills, you've interviewed people, you've done prototypes, you've really tried to put the users at the centre of your design and think what would they need and what would solve the problem. We're all future leaders in our eyes. We definitely see some Elon Musk's and some Melanie Perkins in the mix. <laughs> Young Change Agents runs challenges just like this on many different topics. Young people can participate on their own, through a session with their teacher or in a program facilitated by our staff virtually or in person. We can't wait to hear even more ideas from incredible young people.